identified. The immigration debate in Congress is stalled after President Trump's reported use of vulgarity to describe Haiti, El Salvador, and some African nations. Earl Barnett is traveling with the president in West Palm Beach, Florida, with the latest. No, no, I'm not a racist. President Trump refuted claims made about his character. I am the least racist person you have ever interviewed. Democratic Senator Dick Durbin was one of the lawmakers in the room when the president allegedly used a vulgar term while referring to countries caught up in the immigration debate. They were vile, hate-filled, uh, and clearly racial. Republican Lindsey Graham says he immediately confronted the president about his use of words. Quote, all those attending the meeting know what I said and how I feel. Two other Republican senators at the Oval Office meeting, who days ago said they could not recall the president's comments, seem to sharpen their memories. I'm telling you he did not use that word. I didn't hear that word either. I certainly didn't hear what Senator Durbin has said repeatedly. Senator Tom Cotton says the quotes attributed to the president so are false. In that room, you didn't hear any of this uh, sort of lumping everybody together. Is that what you're saying? I did not hear derogatory comments but about, the about, about individuals or persons, no. The controversy stems from sensitive negotiations on immigration between the president and both parties. Democrats want to address the status of dreamers, the children of undocumented immigrants. The president wants to reform the visa lottery system and end so-called chain migration. Last week, President Trump was optimistic about striking a deal. But on Sunday via Twitter, he said, quote, DACA is probably dead because the Democrats don't want it. Congressman and civil rights activist John Lewis called the president racist for his comments, but said Democrats aren't giving up on a compromise. We must not give up or give in. We must continue to press on and get a deal. Now consider this, in a new CBS News Nation Tracker poll, 70% of Americans say they support allowing dreamers to stay in the country, while 76% found President Trump's reported comments inappropriate.